All right, so tonight I'm going to be um, teaching you a strategy that I've taught all my students. Um, this is really kind of for the parents, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I feel like most all of my students have mastered this and it's been a great um, way to teach them how to divide fractions and whole numbers. So um, I'm gonna kind of jump in and this is really just for you to see so that you um, can see what they're bringing home, what we're learning in class, and also so you can help them if they are struggling maybe just a little bit with the homework. So I'm going to look at problem number two, which is one-fifth divided by three. Um, and the strategy I'm going to use tonight is something that I like to call, well, it's called KFC. Okay, I'm going to write that over here, KFC. Now, I like to use this strategy because, first of all, KFC is something kids see often. It's a restaurant, obviously, um, but it's also a great strategy for them to use when dividing fractions and whole numbers because it's easy for them to remember. So um, I'm going to just jump right into this so that we can um, get through this video. So each letter in KFC stands for something. And the K stands for, I'm going to write it in blue, the K stands for keep, and I'll explain all these as we go. Um, the F stands for flip, and the C stands for change. Okay, and all of these obviously mean something as we work through our problem, I'll explain them. So the K in keep stands, or the K in KFC stands for keep. And what that means is we're going to keep the first number in our problem, whether it be a whole number or a fraction. Um, in this case, it's a fraction. We're going to keep it the way that it is. So I'm going to use, I'll just use black. Okay. Um, so one fifth is going to stay the same. Keep it the same. Okay. Now, if that was a whole number like seven or two or 21, you would just keep it the way that it is. Okay. Flip. So flip is going to apply to the second number or fraction in our problem. In this case, it's a whole number, which is three. Um, so we would make that into a fraction, and I'm going to do that using the green up here. So to make it into a fraction, we put a one underneath it, because three over one is a fraction. It's improper, but it's also um, just equal to three. So it doesn't change the value of that. Um, and so the F for flip stands to stands stands for flip it. So instead of three over one, we're gonna write it as one third. Okay? And then finally the last step in this problem is change. Um, and we're only gonna be changing one thing. We're gonna do the inverse operation of division, and we're actually gonna make that multiplication. So we've kept the first number, keep the first number the way that it is, which in this case is one fifth. Flip the second number, we had to change that into a fraction by putting a one underneath it, and then just flipping those two numbers. And then changing the division sign to a multiplication sign. And now that we have a multiplication problem, we can multiply straight across. So, 1 times 1 is equal to 1, and 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Um, in this case, the fraction cannot be reduced, so our answer is 1 over 15. Um, again, super simple strategy that will help your students remember when they are dividing fractions and whole numbers um, exactly how to keep all the steps straight. Um, there are three more problems on this paper. Um, I do want to point out that number four says Brandy solved one sixth divided by five by using a related multiplication expression. What multiplication expression did she use? So all your, you're not exactly going to solve it. If you do, that's fine. But I'm looking more for the problem change to multiplication. And your students should know what that means because we've talked about this in class. Um, so yeah, go ahead and do the homework problems. Oh, I do have one more thing I wanna point out. 
Um, in problem number three, it says Sean divides eight cups of granola into one fourth cup servings. How many servings of granola does he have? Um, one thing that we've been talking a lot about in my class is when we have items divided by divided up by, let's say, a group of people. Um, you always look at the item first. So let's say I have seven candy bars divided up amongst four of my friends. Okay, so you always want to make sure you do the item, then divide it by the people or by the fraction, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, go ahead and finish up the homework. There's three problems. We will go over it tomorrow morning. Um, I hope you have a great night and thank you for watching.